That looks kind of important. What is this? What is this? Can I interact with it? No. Hey, what's going on with this thing? Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Hi, Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly barmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. How does barmy mean? This painting. Potty. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Magic. Um, are, th are there other any other empty paintings? paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Okay. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Lumos, you say? Okay. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Okay. Ready? Lumos! Find me if you stumble on something. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Find the location depicted in the painting. So we're looking for Big Thick Daddy by some stairs. Are we down here? Big Thick Daddy, you down here? No. No. Is it on the other side, maybe? Not sure we should come. Big Thick Daddy? <gasps> Let's get you back to your oh. frame, little moth. Oh, is it following me? Oh. Okay. Okay. Wait, no. It wasn't over here. It was up here. Did, did I do it? How do I get it in there? There was a connection. Apparently, I, I shoot it. Oh, Nora, that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Well, let's go, baby. Noise. Okay. Lumos. No, put your thing away. All right. So. Revelio. Oh, secrets down there. What is this? Okay, so there's something to do with, with Sleepy Boy here. That must be a puzzle I do not know how to do yet. Can I go in here? Oh, I can. What is this? Ah, the library. I don't want to go in the library. No. Ain't nobody got time for the library. Let's get out of here. Let's go do, um, let's continue on with some of the quests. Wait, wants me to go over here? Oh, to talk to Girlie. Okay, Lenora, okay. I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? You did? Uh, I'm not telling you, because <laughs> this secret is my secret. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving <sighs> riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat. Although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. I did. I did because my... I should have seen that. Brain the Solars. Okay. Revelio. Ooh, level two, baby. All right, where are we going now? V. V for victory. Wait, I'm not tracking anything. What do you mean I'm not tracking anything? I am very clearly tracking something. Uh, let's go to charms class.
I wonder if there's a quicker way to to do that. Revelio. Oh, heard something ding-a-ling. Who's oofing at me? How dare you? Any, any papers? Papers? Rebellion. Nope, nothing here. Okay. Oh, wait, Defense Against the Dark Arts has its own tower? That's pretty dope. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Oh, there's another one of those paintings. We should probably do that for some free experience. Oh, can I go in here? I don't think I quite want to go that way. Revelio. Did I get this flu network? Do I have to actually touch it? On another adventure, are we? No. All right. Lumos. Painting of a jar, opening of a door. Okay, painting of a jar. We put the Lumos away because for some reason it makes things run a little bit choppy. It's not good. Rebellio. Ah, okay. I thought that might have been something. It just seemed a little out. This is a skeleton of an Irish phoenix, or augure, an intensely shy bird who can forecast the coming of rain and whose mounted cry was once believed to foretell death. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so we need a painting of a pot with an opening. Revelio. Hmm. Kill it with fire. Wouldn't let me. Damn. Oh, chest? Nani? This is a mimic. It's gonna eat me. Hello, let me in. Hello. Okay, I don't know what to do with that chat. We're dingin'. Okay, so we need a painting of a port. Oh. That looks kind of important. What is this? Oh shit, chat, we're getting expelled. We are getting so expelled. 100% we're getting expelled. <laughs> Who laughing? Wait, was there a paper here? <gasps> there it is. Serpentine Beast Window. Although Slytherins like to think this window is somehow a tribute to their house founder, it is actually a serpentine beast coiled around a tree that extends from the mouth of the legendary Green Man. I know. We had such a good run at Hogwarts. Unfortunately, it's all over. I, I can't fix it. I can't interact with any of it, so... Revenge. It just is what it is. No interest in his. My parents were thrilled to hear that Black was being put in charge. Our families have been friends for centuries. 
How much longer do you think Black will be headmaster? I have family in America. Wonder if I could transfer to Ilvermorny and come back when he's gone. If only Black had Okay. Listen on a little bit of that gossip. Listen on a little bit of that gossip. This seems kind of a, is this a puzzle? Wait. There's something there. There's definitely something there. All right, let's go see if we can find that painting upstairs, maybe. Revelio. Oh. Are these night guys alive? It's, I swear he just moved. Hello. Oh, you can fit the giddy. Now cute. Now throw it out the window. Cause you can't trust cats. Almost got him. Almost got him, chat. Revelio. Hmm. I have not seen this painting anywhere. Leave him alone? Never. Cats are the worst. Cats are the worst. All right, I guess we'll just go down. We'll go see uh, what's way downtown. You. It took us three days to find your brother, and your mother almost squashed him first. You know how much she hates dung beetles. Ah, but I bet that's why you did it, eh? Well, let's see how much you like being turned into an insect next time you test my temper. Oh my god, I love those things. That was one of the best things from actually the, the Harry Potter movies. You love cats? I mean, I have no problem with cats, but... The only cats that I've come across have been little a-holes. Rebellion. So, if I came across a good cat, maybe I'd feel a little different. They're all been ales. Oh, my <laughs> Not a one of them deserves more than a tea. Level two lock. Awful when they ask you a question, now, isn't it? Crummy little faces. Howlers? E. Why is there an Iron Maiden? In the school, just chilling out in the open. Rebellion. Oh. Okay. Okay. Was it me? Hogwarts survives the reign of this headmaster. Oh, there's a door here. Have a moon calf in charge. Oh, okay, so we got flu flame. Flu flames. Oh, I see the page. I see it. Wyvern Fountain. The fountain in this transfiguration courtyard has a likeness of a wyvern on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Catagon. Uh, this is most assuredly not meant to be Wyvern of Y, slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. Cruising for a bruising, brah. No way. No way. No way. All right, what are these people out here Rebellion. doing? Any other juicy jams? There's a flu thing there. There's a kitty cat. I leave there to kitty cat nice alone. To see you, my young friend. Level one lock. Okay. Car. So we're still looking for that painting. Rebellion. Oh, I didn't do that, Chait. Someone else did that. Wasn't me. Got 
that thing seems a little sus. Oh, also, I saw that blueness. Revelio. Okay, okay. Ooh, it is foggy out here. All right, let's just go to class. Let's go to Defense Against the Dark Arts class. Or no, I'm supposed to be going to Charms class, aren't I? We'll come back and we'll find that later. Charms class. Scoring school property on day one. I mean, that's how I do. I mean, <sighs> Mr. Figs, Mr. OG Figs, he can repair anything. I'll just call him up. He my homie. Nani? I don't like them, chat. Whoa, everything broke. Hold on, hold on, everything broke. Okay, there we go. I don't like it. I don't like that they move. It's scary. Revelio. Do 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 do. Oh, can I go in here? Oh, a forest ivory scarf. Man, I wish my camera wasn't covering the stuff that I picked up. It's kind of lame. But there's really no other place to put it, so it's kind of is what it is. Kind of is what it is. Oh, this is Professor Fig's place. Let's go. Sorry, Fig. <laughs> Lumos. This Lumos spell is not very nice. Blech. Yeah, let's just not do that right now. Oh, wait, is this that painting? Oh, it wasn't a pot. It was a painting. And I'm supposed to get that all the way back over here. I think my computer's going to explode if I try that. Lumos. <laughs> Why? Why? Why does Lumos do this? Why does Lumos do this? Literally one spell. It's just eating everything alive. Blech. And I don't remember where this place... Oh, it was here. It was here. We're almost done, chat. We're almost done. We all survived together, chat. We all survived. Six of eight field guide pages. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And we're done with that. I don't know why Lumos. Lumos. Yeah, something about Lumos just eats it alive. Let's figure that out. I might have to turn down like a uh, like graphics or something for that for the spells. But that one should do nothing. It should be, literally just be a light on the end of. A stick. Okay. Let's actually get up there and go to charms class. I've been been dicking around for too long. Rebellio. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back. No light for me. I see that. You can't so rude. How inconvenient. In the goblin Okay. Goodbyes. I oh, that's that dude who was sliding down the thing. Telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It, it was, was Albert fight. Boot, 100%. Ooh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the minister a boot or the minister a flack? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot and he says it's a flack. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. 
It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, here's that puzzle. Can I? Oh. Okay. So zero three five. Unicorn four question mark. No, get out of here, cat. I didn't want to pet you. Get out of here. Get. Get out of here. What is that? So maybe it's like one, two, three, four, all the way around. So for the first one, it would need to be three, zero. And then, so it would need to be two that adds up for it, which would mean it would need to be a unicorn. But I don't think I saw a unicorn here. Hmm. Okay. Weird. Okay, so if we did, let's try the bottom one. So it was unicorn would count as two, so that'd be two and four would be six. So that means double question mark would need to be six. Should be one, two, three, four, five, six, which would have to be like Krabby Boy? Like that. And then maybe this one you could just we could brute force our way through. Maybe. come back to it is there another thingy that i could turn no okay it's fine it's fine we'll come back to it which way to charms class that way <sighs> who's making that noise okay get in the quest Behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Thank you indeed. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm. I like him. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? No. Anyone? anyone? Color changes need a ta-da at the end. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, 
You all spent your holidays practicing oblivion on one another. <laughs> <laughs> I like how his laugh Do matched you up with mine. Even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm. Uh, hmm? summona mamana. Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Okay. Am I actually going to do something here? Oh. Oh, we learn Accio. Accio Horcrux. Okay, so we start here. We go boom, 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 boom. Ah, easy as that, chat. Easy as that. Accio. That is not bad. You are like her a accent. swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Oh, I'm be better than her. Psh, she better well, take a back seat. Have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely Get day. Out of here. I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. I'm almost down. After me. Okay. Oh, loading screen. I was like, what? That's the first loading screen we've come across, actually. Weird. Track undiscovered flu flames to unlock permanent fast travel locations and shorten the time it takes to reach new activities and locations. Okay. Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? Right. <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Eh? Okay. Eh? Eh? I'm ready. What am I doing? What am I doing? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Come. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. Okay. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall. Yes? Yes. Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, <laughs> but practice God, is the bro. best, Professor. Shut Show us how it's up. done. Okay. The summoning charm Accio pulls a target closer to the caster. Tap the assigned key to cast Accio and pull target closer. Tap the key again to cease casting the spell. Okay. 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 Accio. Excellent control there. Stay focused. Ah! Chat, look what you did. Very good. That's what you got them skills right there, boy. That's it. No, you did it. You did it. Okay. This. Okay. Oh, we had to stay Very on. Good. Points to Gryffindor. Very but good. there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come oh, on now. Onai, you going down. Onai going down. Rules, just as before. And Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Okay. Yes, so who goes first? Are you going? What's this? How did her stop so fast? She's cheating. She's straight up cheating, y'all. Big 
excuse me? Must you come up right next to me? Roll it off. Roll it off. Roll it off. There we go. The pressure's on, Chad. The pressure's on. Ooh! Nice! Thank you. Now you go. Now you roll it off the edge. Off the edge. It's like bocce ball. I'm going to hit hers away. And it's going to be amazing. Get off. Dang it. Dang it. Perfect score. I still should beat her though. Remarkable. Oh, I am remarkable. Thank you. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Okay, how, how much are we talking? We're talking about like 20 G's, cause I'm in. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. A lot. I'll say. Hey, enough chatter, but. focus now, you will need it. But. This round settles it all. Here we go. Okay. That's just how it's done. That's just how it's done. No, it's not. Jazz isn't looking good. <laughs> I screwed up on my first go. She got to get it knocked off. Knocked off. Yo, she cheating. She's straight there up cheating. No, no. We're knocking yours off, girl. Don't you say, there we go. Akio. Oh, chat. Dang it. Okay, yeah, knock your own off. All right, if I can land this in the big one, then we win, chat. Go, baby, go, baby, go, baby, go, baby, go! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Whew. Whew. Very good, both of you. I well almost done. lost to a grill. Almost lost to a grill. Nice, 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 nice. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Okay. Good game back there. GG, I yo. Must admit, GG. I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Um. Yeah, it will be nice. It could be like a dick and be like, Psh, I got it, but now nah, it will be nice. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. Oh, my to. mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Interesting. Mm. Would the magic be weaker? Probably. Spells cast without a wand must be less powerful than those cast with a wand. No, no, not at all. 
wizarding magic cast without a wand is just as powerful. Okay. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. True. It does add that flair. Is what Wagadu does a castle? Wagadu like look its like. address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Okay. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. Mm, bigger but than it Hogwarts. it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. <sighs> Until next time, Natsaib. You can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, Akio will be using it on clothing, besides Sebastian. You know it's going to work on humans. Can't use it on humans, they lied. Wait, that's the wrong button. Ooh, what? What dingin'? Oh, up there. I can't go up there. Okay. Hello. Are you Harry Potter? Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Oh, okay. Why are you talking into your sleeve, weirdo? You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well... An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Okay. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Like what? Oh, we got an achievement. Woohoo! First class student, because I am the best. Did you not want to talk to me no more? Do you do know to put you an Iron Maiden? Okay, goodbye. Rebellion. Can I go up here? No. Okay. Hello oh. there. Hello. You're the new student, aren't you? Yes. Who are you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Uh, that's kind of you to say. I've been I'm such a nice guy. Of luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. What's a beginner's luck? I am just skilled. You're jealous? And you'll always be jealous. How dare she? How dare she? The sorting hat took ages to sort that for Revelio. Secrets? Ooh. Okay. 53 gold. Let's go. Okay. Wait, didn't I actually I got a new scarf at some point, didn't I? Um gear. Neckwear. That's what gives me more, more offense. Okay. Okay. Level three. Okay, so we're getting there. 
Okay. Uh, but I think this is a good point to go ahead and take a quick break. I've been going for a couple hours now. 